doesn't tell me what to intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his dogged tongue deceive you. A cruel and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the king's troop, in charge of the South Gate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. Don't get hands on them. I'll take you to him. How did you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Brad. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Pitcairn, you fool! Your acts are treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my name wouldn't notice your life? Oh, well, allow me to explain. <laughs> By all means, I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amhar's orders. Show me a letter bearing your seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir. It's the sort of thing that's not put to paper. Hey, General Braddock. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. Bad enough my superiors had insisted, I granted you supplies, but they said nothing about this traitor. You're not at him. Ever. Listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. I just think I used to call him brother. What now? Don't chase us off if we try to turn. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come on. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now. When I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Shall we head next? Perhaps Don Marlborough? No. Its residents are too content. Their homes are nice, their days untroubled. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young.